Hey there! Welcome to Wisely Yours. Today, we're bringing you an exciting list of cricket books that every fan should have on their shelf. From insightful biographies to compelling accounts of the history and culture of the game, these books offer something for everyone. So, without further ado, let's dive into our list. Number 10. Chinaman, The Legend of Pradeep Matthew It's a novel by Sri Lankan author Sheehan Karana Talaka, published in 2010. The book is a work of fiction centered around the character of W.G. Karana Sina, a sports writer and cricket fan, who is trying to track down a legendary yet elusive cricketer named Pradeep Matthew. Matthew is described as one of the greatest cricketers to have played for Sri Lanka, yet his name and achievements have largely been forgotten. The novel is both a mystery and a commentary on Sri Lankan society, politics, and cricket culture. Karen Asina's journey to find Matthew is intertwined with his own personal struggles and the complexities of contemporary Sri Lanka. The book uses cricket as a lens through which to explore larger themes such as identity, memory, and truth. Chinaman received critical acclaim and won several awards, including the Commonwealth Book Prize in 2012. It is known for its unique narrative style, blending humor, satire, and poignant observations about cricket and life in Sri Lanka. Number 9. Golden Boy Kim Hughes and the Bad Old Days of Australian Cricket It's a book written by Christian Ryan. It was published in 2009 and provides a detailed examination of Kim Hughes, a former captain of the Australian cricket team, and his turbulent tenure during a challenging period in Australian cricket history. The book offers a deep dive into the struggles and controversies faced by Hughes during his career, particularly during his captaincy from 1979 to 1984. Ryan presents a nuanced portrait of Hughes, exploring his talent, charm, and vulnerability, as well as the challenges he faced from within the team and cricket administration. Ryan's work also provides insight into the state of Australian cricket during that era, a time marked by player divisions, leadership struggles, and off-field controversies. The book has been praised for its thorough research, storytelling, and analysis of the complexities of the cricket world and Hughes' role within it. Number 8. Fire in Babylon Fire in Babylon by Simon Lister is a gripping account of the golden era of West Indies cricket during the 1970s and 1980s. The book chronicles the rise of the West Indies cricket team as a dominant force in international cricket. The title Fire in Babylon is derived from the pace and passion of the West Indies fast bowlers who terrorized batsmen around the world during this period. Through meticulous research and interviews, Simon Lister paints a vivid picture of the West Indies team's journey, exploring the racial and social issues that shaped their identity. The book captures the essence of an era, portraying the West Indies cricket team as a symbol of resistance and defiance, challenging the established order of world cricket. Fire in Babylon is not only a cricketing story but also a narrative of social and cultural significance, highlighting the impact of the West Indies team on the global stage. It's a must-read for cricket enthusiasts and anyone interested in the intersection of sports and society. Number 7. The Commonwealth of Cricket The Commonwealth of Cricket by Ramachandra Guha examines how cricket has shaped the identity and culture of the nations within the Commonwealth. Through extensive research and insightful analysis, Guha provides an engaging narrative that covers various aspects of the game, including its historical, social, and political dimensions. The book is divided into chapters, each focusing on a different Commonwealth nation, offering a nuanced understanding of how cricket has evolved and been embraced in different cultural contexts. Guha masterfully weaves together stories of legendary players, memorable matches, and the societal impact of the sport. The Commonwealth of Cricket is not just a book about cricket. It is a journey through the heart and soul of nations united by their love for the game. Gua's writing style is both informative and engaging, making it a compelling read for cricket enthusiasts, historians, and anyone interested in the cultural significance of sport. Number 6. Wounded Tiger – The History of Cricket in Pakistan It's a comprehensive book by Peter Oborn that delves into the rich and often tumultuous history of cricket in Pakistan. Published in 2014, it provides insights into the cultural, political, and social aspects that have shaped the game in the country. Oborn, a well-known British journalist and author, 
explores the passionate love affair Pakistanis have with cricket, the highs and lows of their cricketing history, and how the game has mirrored and affected Pakistani society. The book covers various eras, key players, and matches that have defined Pakistan cricket from its early years to the contemporary period. It offers an in-depth analysis of the cricketing culture and the challenges faced by Pakistan cricket both on and off the field. Oborn's writing captures the essence of the game in Pakistan and provides a compelling narrative that is both informative and engaging for cricket enthusiasts and readers interested in Pakistani culture and history alike. Number 5. Penguins Stopped Play It's a humorous and heartwarming book by Harry Thompson. It recounts the misadventures of a village cricket team, the Captain Scott Eleven, and their eccentric tour of various cricket-playing nations. From Barbados to Calcutta, they encounter bizarre challenges, from pitch invasions by animals to battling altitude sickness in the Himalayas. Despite their lack of skill on the cricket field, their adventures are full of camaraderie and laughter. Penguins Stopped Play is not just a book about cricket. It's a delightful story of friendship, perseverance, and the joy of sport, with a generous dose of humor thrown in. Thompson's storytelling talent shines through ensuring that readers are thoroughly entertained from the first page to the last. Number 4. The Art of Captaincy One of England's most successful cricket captain, Mike Burley, shares his insights and wisdom on the art of captaincy in this classic book. The book covers a wide range of topics, including team selection, tactics, man management, and dealing with the media. Burley's approach is both analytical and philosophical as he reflects on the challenges and rewards of leadership in cricket. He emphasizes the importance of communication, empathy, and intuition, and shares valuable lessons that can be applied not only to cricket but to leadership in any field. The Art of Captaincy is not just a book for cricket enthusiasts. It's a thoughtful exploration of leadership that has relevance far beyond the boundary rope. Burley's intelligent and engaging writing style makes it a compelling read for anyone interested in the dynamics of teamwork and leadership. Number 3. Playing It My Way It's an autobiography by the legendary Indian cricketer Sachin Tendulkar, published in 2014. In this book, Tendulkar shares his journey from a young boy with dreams to becoming one of the greatest cricketers of all time. He provides insights into his personal and professional life his experiences, and the challenges he faced throughout his illustrious career. The book gives fans a chance to understand Tendulkar's perspective on various aspects of the game and offers a glimpse into the mind of a cricketing icon. Number 2. A Corner of a Foreign Field It's a book by Ramachandra Guha, published in 2002, explores the history of cricket in India, focusing particularly on how the sport became an integral part of Indian society under British rule and beyond. Guha provides an in-depth analysis of the influence of cricket on Indian life, from its colonial beginnings to its role in the country's struggle for independence and its subsequent impact on modern Indian culture. Guha discusses how cricket transformed from being a colonial import to a sport deeply embedded in the Indian ethos, reflecting the changes and developments in Indian society. The book provides a detailed narrative of the game's evolution, examining the role of players, administrators, and fans, and highlighting the intertwining of cricket with politics, nationalism, and identity in India. Overall, it's a comprehensive study of how this British sport became an integral part of the Indian national consciousness. Number 1. Beyond a Boundary Beyond a Boundary by C.L.R. James, published in 1963, is a unique blend of autobiography, cricket lore, and social and political commentary. In this work, C.L.R. James explores the significance of cricket in the West Indies, drawing parallels between cricket and the colonial experience. The book delves into themes of race, class, and colonialism, offering a profound analysis of West Indian society through the lens of cricket. He sees cricket as more than just a sport. It is a microcosm of society. Throughout the book, James uses cricket as a metaphor to explore issues such as race, colonialism, and national identity. He argues that cricket was crucial in the formation of West Indian identity and played a significant role in the struggle for independence. The book is meditation on the intersections of sports, politics, and culture. It's a fascinating read for anyone interested in the history of the West Indies, the game of cricket, 
or the broader issues of race and colonialism. Whether you're a diehard cricket fan or someone looking to learn more about this fascinating sport, these books are sure to provide hours of enjoyment and insight. Which book from our list are you most excited to read? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. See you next time.